Hi everyone, thank you for watching. I am so excited to show you guys this video today because I have with me some Portugal makeup products that during this past summer I did go to Portugal with my younger sister Emma for two weeks. So of course you guys, you know, I had to pick up a couple makeup products to test them out, see what's good with Portugal makeup, you know what I'm saying? And I have with me here all types of makeup. Um, I should be able to do a full face. Yeah, I could do a full face. But guys, like, I'm so worried about this foundation because this is my summer color. Obviously, now it's the winter and you see how lighter I've gotten. Oh, boy. So, this is going to be a funny look today. The only problem is that I couldn't find a single makeup brush. And I looked in two stores, which is where I found these makeup products. And I looked at the mall. However, in the mall, it was all your drugstore brand. So I might as well shop back at home because nothing was different. Some of this makeup looks so shady, guys. I can't. I don't know. I'm so scared. Like, look at this one. This one was the only contour shade that I could find. It has someone's fingerprint in it. Not mine. And it was never closed. So for sanitary reasons today, I am very scared. There's just... Like, here it's scratched off, and it's not sealed. I'm just nervous, guys. <laughs> but, I'm just gonna roll with the, with the flow today and see how good Portugal makeup is. Or, see how good I am at crying. <sighs> I'm so scared. Mm. So, I have a beauty blender with me, and actually, maybe we should... Yeah, we're gonna do the eyeshadow first because this look like it has fallout. So I have here a little Sambra para Ojos, <laughs> a little eyeshadow palette. It's metallic shades and it has this lovely brush right there. And it was one euro. And what's weird is that they really didn't have a lot of lip products. Eyebrow products was non-existent. Um, brushes couldn't be found anywhere, just brushes for the hair, and that's basically it. I actually have two, I don't know why I bought two. This one's, um, it's called Elite Go Well, oh my goodness. But I actually have two face powders, so one side we're going to try this one. I actually like how this packaging is because it has this little poofy thing that no one uses and then it has this clear slip where the contour shade is and this is actually looks really this one I feel like is gonna look muddy when this one probably gonna like even more I feel like I'm gonna like this one it looks like my shade and it looks so pretty like the little mirror so props on the packaging because this one is really cute but let's get into this eyeshadow look. We have crazy colors. It's all pinks and one purple. And then there's that random, like, weird khaki brown. Oh, boy. I think I'm going to try to use this as a highlighting shade. Oh, my God. In highlight? They have nothing. They have nothing for highlight. It was like, what? What? It was weird. It was really weird. So I'm going to dip into this pink shade right here. Oh my god, I've never used one of these in my whole life. Oh, let's get up close and personal. So I'm just gonna put this, oh, I'm just gonna put this on my lid. We're not gonna do much. Okay, so far it's not. <laughs> the pigment's there, guys. At least the pigment's there. Oh, I feel like my finger would make this look ten times better. At least there's no fallout. We can at least say that. I feel like this little brush, you guys, would be so easy to pack on, like, your lid highlight or your inner corner highlight. Even just to pack on some glitter on your lid. Oh, my goodness. I feel like this is going to stain my eyes so badly. So, how am I supposed to put the transition shade? That's what I'm having problems with right now. There's the other side of my brush. Dip into that. Please mind my nails, you guys. I 
just don't want to. <laughs> Every time I do my nails, the nail polish is just like, screw you, Julie. We're not going to stay on your nails for more than 24 hours. And I tried doing gel. Doesn't stay on. And in the winter, I just don't even bother going to the salon because... When I go to the salon, I like to get everything done, like mani pedi, little massage. Okay, guys, I don't know where I'm going with this now, but hi. <laughs> I'm just trying to blend it out, blend it out. You know, we're going for the um, like you know when you see those people on the runway and they just slapped on like something on their eye and they call it fashion. We're going for that type of look today. This is fashion, you guys. This is so fashion. Like, this is the latest look in Vogue's magazine. Holy crap. Okay. I think that looks good. <laughs> I think that looks really decent for the makeup that we have today. So just gonna go with it oh my god how would you put the eyeshadow on your lower lash line with this thing uh. I also did snatch some eyeliner eyeliner cat eyes it says in English and I don't really see oh this is the same brand as the contour I don't know hmm. let me see this one no I don't think the rest are the same brands as each other just these two Ooh, how did I not even catch that okay it's a called Lyptica well let's see if you work oh my god guys it's one of these <laughs> it's one of these no I've never used one of these in my life, but it looks so bad. Oh my god, let's just see how it looks like. Oh my god, it already bent. Oh my god, what am I supposed to do with this? Uh, what am I supposed to do with this? Uh, I don't want to. Can we just skip this part, guys? This is going to be a hot mess. Let me get a mirror and let's just get this over with. I'm so scared. <sighs> okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, it's not that bad. It's going on easy, it's just the way that it's shaped, and I guess it's because it's like a cream just shoved into a tube. Oh my god, this is not working out for me. The only time I, I've used something like this was for my waterline, just to highlight my waterline. Ugh. But the shape of this sucks. This was literally the only eyeliner thing that they had, guys. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. This is a disgrace. Alright. Okay. Hmm. Okay, guys. I think this is the best that we're going to get with this little nub so let's do the other eye and then we can go ahead and throw this in the garbage oh my gosh oh my god that was because i blinked Ugh. Okay, hmm, hi. This, look, is getting pretty interesting already and we're only on our second product. Whew. I mean, I'm not 
concerned about the mascara or maybe the lipstick. The contour is going to be fine and so is the foundation. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take this foundation. Yes, love. There is, oh, a one. There is a shade. <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat> so we're just going to tap this out onto the beauty blender and pray to the gods. <clears throat> Come on. Oh. Oh my god, guys, this is so dark. <clears throat> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did I pick this? But to be honest, oh my god. Oh my god. As I was saying, I need to get this away from me. This was the only um nice shade that they had at the time. And at the time, I was fairly tan. It was the summer. And I thought, oh, this is so my color. Oh my god, but even if I was tan, this is not my color. I don't think this is anybody's color. This is orange. This is orange. Oh my god, this is orange. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even think this is blending. This is so patchy look the beauty blender is literally picking up the makeup <gasps> oh my god I'm, I'm going to need oh my god it's literally just wiping down the makeup oh, this is terrible this is so bad <gasps> oh. I am going to need such a good exfoliator when I'm done with this. And this is like liquid. This is just sliding all around my face. It's not really sinking into it. <laughs> when I was in Portugal, I did not see anybody wearing makeup. Oh my god, it, it picked up the eyeliner. You gotta be kidding me. Ugh. <sighs> So, yes, I did not see anyone in Portugal wearing makeup because if I did, I'd be like, girl, where'd you get that? And teach me your ways. But I didn't see anyone wearing makeup in Portugal. Um, I, the only person I saw wearing makeup was like me and my friend at the time. And we had our own makeup from back here in America. So, I did not see anyone wearing it everyone it was just so beautiful looking natural oh, they had their own highlight that was just their skin and they didn't need foundation because their skin was just so healthy and believe oh, i'm so sorry guys and believe it or not but when i was in portugal i had no acne like me and emma this is really gross but me and my younger sister emma we stopped well okay one day, I forgot to put on deodorant, right? Coincidentally, that day she forgot to put on deodorant too. So I guess it was like one of those days that like we were just in a rush, a rush or something. So coincidentally, she forgot to put on deodorant too. And she told me at the end of the day, she's like, Yana, do you smell? And I said, like, I smell myself. And I said, no. And that uh, Mind you, like, we were out till 9 o'clock in the morning, till 1 o'clock in the morning. So, we didn't really, like, had time to shower during the day. But we we took a shower every day. But throughout the day, there was no going home to take a shower. So, we were just out all day. <laughs> and we didn't really smell. So, I was so surprised. The water was always clean when we went to the beach. Like, you didn't feel that 
sticky feeling. I don't know, but here in New Jersey, I go to the beach and I feel sticky. Like the sand is sticking to me. The water was so, oh, the water was so clean. It didn't leave you like smelly or stinky. I would sweat because it was hot, but I wouldn't really smell. And we were just surprised how clean it is over there. The air was clean. I never, um, over here, I have a problem where I like burp quite frequently. But over there, I probably bur burped about like five times that whole two weeks. So that's a freaking lot. I burped like five times in an hour over here. <laughs> oh my god. So over there it was very different. The air, everything, the whole environment was so clean and my my skin was so healthy. I never put on foundation. I, I put on like my eyebrows, lipstick, and <laughs> mascara and highlight, but I never had to put on foundation because there's nothing to cover up. Just flawless skin. And my hair, my hair, my hair's always been fine, but my hair was just always so like healthy and yes. The water felt so good there. And over there, it's so different over there. <sighs> Makes you kind of hate it over here. But it's okay. So thank God this is over. But I'm so ready to take this off of my face. So ready to take this off. But let's... I'm going to get one of my... <clears throat> sorry. One of my makeup brushes because... Like I said, couldn't find any of them over there. And on this side of my face, the right side of my face, your left side of the screen, I'm going to use the Itika Well Foundation. Oh, oh my gosh. Should I try? I'm going to try this, guys. Let's see if this works. Now, I think this is the powder that is supposed to go all over your face, but come on, guys. This is like a color, a contour shade. Oh my god. Oh my god. So I'm dipping this in here. It's like red. Yeah, I cannot. You're going in the garbage, guy. <sighs> this needs to be blended out with a brush. Why isn't it moving? <gasps> oh my god, guys, stop moving! <gasps> oh my god. Maybe with the foundation? With the, with the beauty blender? Oh my god, it literally stuck to the foundation. <clears throat> Guys, that's not moving off my face. Holy crap, it's not blending or nothing. Ah. No way, I've never had that happen to me. That is insane. It's a, it's a beautiful shade. <clears throat> but for the summer, because right now, that is way too dark for me. But let's sadly go in with this guy. This is from Lovely Girl. Surprisingly in English. Actually, everything is in English. I have to see if this is actually a Portuguese, but we're going to still... Oh, my God. Guys, look at that. Oh, my God. The world of Fallout. Look at that. Oh my god. It li oh. <gasps> No way! Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, I was about to put that on my face. That is so I literally had to dump it in the garbage because that's how much there was. Okay, so. Ooh. Ooh, that's that, that's smelly. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. That smelled so bad. Well, at least this is blending out something. Okay. You know, that's not that bad. In the summer, if this, I actually really like the shade. But I do not like this formula. I do not like this product. I don't like the follow. I don't like any of it. Oh my God. I'm gonna contour the nose and then we're done with this. 
This is so bad, you guys. Oh my god, this made me look so tan. Not even in a healthy way. Like, I look like I just got a really, really bad spray tan. So bad. Ugh. This is also in English, guys. The mascara. And ingredients are halfway scratched out. And, yes, it's Love Me Waterproof Mascara. So it is in English. Makes you feel a bit more positive. But I don't know. That other one was in English, too. And was it that the same brand? Was it... Oh no, it was a lovely girl. Never mind. But let's go in with this mascara. Oh my goodness. Guys, this actually smells like fruit. I never had a mascara smell like fruit. You know when we were a kid and we bought those pencils that came in those plastic tubes and they smelled like watermelon or something? Like some fruit. This is exactly what this smells like. It's actually really pretty. Okay, oh, oh, I feel like this is doing absolutely nothing to my eyelashes. Nothing. Do you guys see a difference? Because I can't. Let's see. I don't even feel like it's even wet. What the heck? Like, the bristles, you see how you could see in between the bristles? Ugh. Hmm. Oh. I know with American... Mascaras, you could see a little bit in between the, the bristles, but for the most part, it's just like almost halfway filled with product. Oh, okay, well, this did nothing. Let me check underneath of the lash line. Actually, actually it's kind of just spreading it out. <laughs> like it's just dispersing the, pro the eyelashes a little bit. I'm really dying to take this off of my face. It just feels so heavy and, and gross. And look at that. That's a look, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. When it transfers to the bottom, I guess something was there. <sighs> I'm going to finish off the eye look using the purple shade. I'm going in with the tip of this little spongy thing. And we're just going to... Oh, that kind of hurts, the tip of this. Ugh. Oh my god, guys. This is really bad. And you know, I have a feeling these eyeshadows would have been somewhat... Okay, that's actually really pretty underneath the eye. Ooh. Okay. So, I actually believe, just a, just a small, tiny bit of belief... <laughs> that the eyeshadows could look pretty if I used like a brush or something. That'd be for another video. However, I'm taking my Morphe M438 brush and we're gonna go in with this white highlighting shade. And oh my God, guys, this should really pop against what we have going on. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm so sad. Oh, you know what? This is actually not that bad. Oh, oh my God. This is actually, like, if it wasn't for everything else that's going on, maybe, like, for a festival, this is so cool. Like, that white <gasps> highlighter. Okay, I kind of went a little crazy with that. Oh, my God. Guys, it's really blind. Thing. Oh, I kind of want to get that off my nose. Uh, I was like, I was like sending a signal to outer space, like, the ding, hey, I'm here. <laughs> so thank God this is the last product. It's Michael Valetti lipstick, another English product. And I don't mean by saying English that it's American. I did get this st straight out of Portugal guys like I went to this little market paid it with the euros but I'm just saying um English because it has English words on here it's not random Portuguese so this is a lipstick in shade 315 and looks it I like that it had a it did had a plastic seal on it so 
And that makes me a little hopeful. And, oh, guys. I think, okay, there's the pigment. Just need to give us some love of the pigments there. Mmm. Mm. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of glossy and it feels so good. Oh, yes. Mmm. Uh. I'm definitely using this again. Mm -hmm. oh, it's so good. Oh, I'm so happy that something worked out today. Mmm. <laughs> Okay, I was gonna say, like, if this doesn't transfer on the teeth, we got, like, new legendary product on our hands, guys. Gotta go back to Portugal. <laughs> mm, I cannot stop rubbing it on my lip. It just feels so soft, guys. Look how... Oh, my God. This is really good. This is awesome. Like, the pigment's there went on super nicely and it looks like I just have like this orange <laughs> Ooh. I'm so happy that something worked out oh my god guys this foundation <sighs> not having it it's not good at all <laughs> it's not good at all the eyeshadow the eyeshadow I I want to keep this because this is so cool for a festival. Like, look how, look how ridiculously pigmented that is. Even just for, like, an icy inner corner highlight. This is insane. And the metallic shades, the pigment was there, guys. It was just this little blendy thingy blah, 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 that really dispersed the product badly. This mascara, absolutely not. It did nothing for my eyelashes. It just made them wet and then it transferred onto my skin so this guy sucked this guy sucked beauty blender i have no idea what it's doing i actually want to try this with an actual foundation um because i felt like it was just sweeping like the product around my face and if i use the clean side like if i turned it around it would literally pick up the product off my, off my face and I would see like my bare skin. So I don't know if it's the beauty blender or just the really weird foundation. It's one of those situations where you don't know who to blame. And for the eyeliner, mm, I would only use this again if I was doing one of those black like to orange or just putting black on my lid like a smoky eye. You know when you need like a true black to just pack on your lid? This is the only thing I'd use you for again, bud. This came out so bad. This came out really bad. And for the lipstick, obviously you guys see how it came out. The lipstick I am truly proud of. It came out so cool. And I am really liking how it looks. And that is the end of this video, guys. Thank God. I'm so sorry, but number one, sorry for the hiccups. And I just cannot wait to get this off. Ugh, it's like, I feel like I'm pre-aging, like I'm prematurely aging because I have really bad makeup on my face, guys, and I'm gonna go take it off. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like, please, because you saw what I put on my face today. Leave a like down below, comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys found some real and, not that these weren't real, but you know, some true Portuguese makeup that actually works. I would love to try it out. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!